One, two. One, two, three, four. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the shack. Uh, well, today we're going to show you how to use the cross band repeat function on the Ocean or Waxen uh, KG-UV8H. It's the handheld dual band transceiver radio with cross band repeat facility built into it. So um, yesterday's video completely messed up and before we move on, I, I used my little wireless microphone that I dropped in my coffee while camping a while ago and it's still not working properly so apologies for the uh, audio on the previous video reviewing this today we've got the lapel mic and hopefully we're gonna have no issues with the GoPro and we'll jump straight into it so the repeater function straight away we're gonna get on the screen the frequencies I'm gonna use um, got my input frequency at the bottom 70 centimeters and the output frequency at the top, uh, 145.20000. And this is mainly going to be showing you how to turn it on and off and the three main settings on the handheld you're going to need to know. So menu 37, menu 37, menu 38 and menu 39. These are the three repeater settings you'll need to change and set up to operate this handheld in the way you need it to. So repeater set, first of all, menu 37. Go straight into that. you got uh, TWR, PT, and direct is your main DIRPT, are your main two choices of operation. So if you want it to work direct, um, so you can talk into this and a, another person will receive it. You want direct. You put it on TWRPT, which is two-way repeater. So that means you can talk into it. It will repeat to another station and that station can talk into this and repeat back to you. So for today's demonstration, we're using it on direct. I like to call it one-way as opposed to two-way. So that's the first one. Repeat set menu 37. Moving up to 38, menu 38, repeat a speaker. This is if this is sat, say, in a car or a picnic bench or on top of a hill, you may not want the speaker on. So you can turn the speaker off. For the demonstration, I'm leaving the speaker on. And then the third and final menu 39, repeater push to talk. If this has been used as a crossband repeater and you don't want a third person, per, third person, party person third party person why is that so hard to say uh, to pick this up and start transmitting you can turn repeater push to talk off that means it can't be used uh, this radio cannot be used while it's in repeater mode but we're going to leave it on because we can all right so after this them three menus are changed uh, you'll need to go back to your vfo modes or you might have already programmed set frequencies into the radio and the channel mem memories that you can go to straight away and use. I've just done direct input. Um, they're the two frequencies I'm using today. Now, I would like to use my uh, Yesu because it's half watt output. But as you can see, it's not turning on. It's completely flat. I haven't charged that for a long time. So we're going to go back to the Baofeng. I've set it to low power. Um, we're only testing. Uh, we've got this set to 434000 to match the 434000 on this, which is now a repeater. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, now the settings are done, you would normally set a tone for your receive and then a transmit tone on your transmit radio so no one else can use this. Um, that is the important thing in the UK. We can only talk into this on half a watt of power and we must use tones so no one else can use it. This is getting turned off in a minute, so I haven't set tones. And I'm only demonstrating, so low power on this is only a couple of watts. Um, so, yeah, after you've done all your settings and changes, what you need to do is the bottom right key down here, RPT, you hold that down. There you go. See the green circle appear and disappear for off. Again, hold that down for about three seconds, two seconds. That's now repeater mode. If I transmit on this, Baofeng, 
Oh, hang on. We need to swap the A and B around. That's better. Right. Now we swap the A and B around. <laughs> Excuse me. And now I've got the bottom line active because obviously that's the one I'm receiving on. Uh, Mike 6, Charlie Tango, Papa, testing. There we go. You can see we had the blue line signal meter at the bottom when this is receiving and when it transmits, it goes red. Do it quickly there. Mike 6, Charlie Tango, Papa, testing. See, red and it's on low power. So the signal bar at the bottom was red because I was transmitting on this. And if it's receiving for this one, Mike 6, Charlie Tango, Papa, testing. And that is it. And just do not forget to deactivate the repeater mode when you're finished by holding down the repeat button on the bottom of the keypad. And once that icon's gone off, your radio will go back to normal usage. So that is it. We can get the old specs off now. Um, the Shack radios, HF and VHF, UHF, I get no interference. These things mess up my uh, screens, my USB hub and all sorts. So that's it. That's the little how to use the uh, little UV8H as a crossband repeater. Not sure what reason you have to use it, but you might have the reason to use it one day. Remember, I don't know what the rules are in other countries, but here in the UK, uh, we must have a crossband repeater in proximity where we can turn it off. I, we can't go and put this down the road or on the church roof in another town. We must have this in reach in the same building. On the, I think it states on the same premises. So I can have this out in the shed in the spare room, but I must be able to go and turn it off if I need be. And we must use tones, receive tones on this and then transmit tones on the other one that you're talking into. So that way, and you can't give the tones to anyone. You can't let other people use it. And you must only transmit on this with half a watt. That's why we can't use that. If I'm going to use it as crossband repeater, I'm going to talk into it with the ASU 4XR because that does half a watt. So we set the transmit radio onto half a watt with tones, and then we can use this. Uh, there are strict frequencies you can use. We didn't want to go into all that on this video, but check with your local area, your country, uh, your licensing agreement, what frequencies and tones and appliances you can use um, if you're using cross mode, cross band repeat mode. Anyway, that was it. Simples. Again, back on screen here. Camera B. Are we actually on? Menu. Ah. Oh. I'm weird. Sorry, this is going to bug you. I am. I have to have <laughs> menu at the top. I don't know why it bugs me when menu is on the bottom line. Let's go back to menu thirty. I should just type it in. Hmm. What did I say? It was menu thirty-seven. Seven. Yeah, menu thirty-seven. I remembered. Menu thirty-seven. You've got direct or two-way traffic. So two-way. Menu 38. Excuse me while I put my spectacles back on. Uh, repeat a speaker. So you can turn on or off, on or off. This device speaker. And then you can... Menu 39. Activate or deactivate. Activate, deactivate the push to talk on this radio. So I'm leaving the push to talk on. I'm leaving the speaker on. And I'm going to leave it on two way. When you've changed those settings, push and hold repeater. Fold and off, is that it? It's that simple. Really simple, really good little radio. Um, have a play around and we'll catch you on the next video. Possibly, it might have a haircut by then. Day off today. I haven't really paid much attention to what's going on. Um, I just thought we'd share that little bit of information there. So, 73 for now. Uh, Mike 6, Charlie Tango Papa saying 73. And, gee, god damn, I do need a haircut.